Caring for young puppies is a big responsibility, especially when it comes to the Frenchie breed. They need a lot of attention, 24-7 attention actually. Um, you're not able to leave them alone for one second. Um, a lot of people don't know that the Frenchies do not whelp themselves. There's a lot of investment as well that comes with being a whelper. Between the first two and three weeks of life, the babies do not regulate their own body temperature, so they're required to be under a heating lamp um, at all times. Um, if they are not under the heating lamp, they can literally die within hours. Um, their body temperature goes low and there's no way of that puppy of surviving. Other breeds do not require that. It's just the Frenchie breed itself has issues with that body temperature. One of the main issues with the Frenchies is aspiration. So after every feeding, you have to make sure you use one of these to clean them. Um, it's pretty much you clean their, their nasal passage so that none of the liquid or the milk goes into the lungs. This is a very crucial, it has to be done after every feeding. Um, it's to prevent pneumonia and other type of um, diseases and, or infections that they're prone to get. Uh, in my opinion, I think social media plays a huge role when it comes to selling a dog. Uh, simply because in today's day and age, you're dealing with an un unlimited amount of uh, business when you go into the web. So you could be dealing with people overseas in other countries that normally wouldn't have you wouldn't have as an audience, but social media allows you to target those people directly because of their interest, right? So Facebook, you could narrow it down to their age group, their interest, and you could pinpoint your niche versus just wasting time dealing with people that don't even like what you're offering. So it plays a huge role in today's day and age for any business. It's not just dog breeding. I think the main controversies uh, when it comes to, you know, advertising the sales of animals on a social media platform is just those people that are quickly to judge and they jump into conclusions. Um, you know, they feel like you're doing something wrong when in reality there is a lot of good people out there that take their interest, you know, the best interest for their dogs or any animals in general and reinvest into their program and they provide for them a better lifestyle that a regular human would, right? Simply because they're providing for their families and we are providing for them. At least that's what I, how I see it. If they're able to provide for my family, I'm gonna provide them with the best lifestyle possible. How I see it, there's no competition and it's all friendly, you know, and the more, the better you do, the better I wanna do right after. So it's just helping one another and, you know, lending a helping hand. Breeders are able to charge um, such high prices for dogs because of their rarity, depending on how um, specific or exotic their DNA is, their bloodlines, and also the availability of having those types of dogs. DNA in certain genetic traits impacts the price of a dog um, based on their DNA. The DNA specific I mean by color um, and length of hair, as well as availability of that dog itself and the sex. It impacts their price quite um, a lot by varying from a regular blue Frenchie is about $5,000 where an Isabella will start around $25,000 and then a fluffy anywhere between $40,000 and up. Frenchies tend to be an expensive breed because of how versatile they are in the sense of they don't need a specific a uh, lot of land, a lot of exercise. You're able to own them in different um, areas, whether it be cold, hot or not. Um, also, you don't need much space. They're great apartment animals, they're lazy, and can also be quite active. Leo? Leo? Dr. D told me? Your PET scan was clear. Your cancer's gone. 